In this screencast, I'm going to talk about how to zoom in and out on a graph of a function. So let's switch over to Excel. And here we have the graph of a function that we produced previously. And let me just remind you, if you haven't watched that recently, this is the function I'm plotting, 2e to the minus x sine of 6x. And here I've put in values 2 and 6 for the parameters, but this allows me to change them. I won't do that for now. The other two values I've got below here are x0 and xf, and that corresponds to the bottom end of the plotting interval and the upper end of the plotting interval. So let's say that we're interested in zooming in on x equals 0 0.4. So that means we're interested in plotting the function closer to this point right here, and we want to see what kind of thing is going on there, right? Is it um, is it going to look like a straight line, which we expect it will. This is a smooth function. So let's zoom in a little bit and change our lower value. Instead of 0, let's make it 0 0.3. And now you can see it's just plotting from 0 0.3 up. And now let's bring the top end down a bit and go from 0 0.5. So now we'll get a function plotted, our function plotted between 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. And you can see here, as we expected, it's looking more like a straight line because we're zooming in on a flat section of the function, but it still has some curve to it. So maybe we want to zoom in, zoom in even, even further. So let's go to 0 0.35 on the bottom end and 0 0.45 on the top end. And now you can see it's starting to look pretty straight. We can go even closer, 0 0.39 and 0 0.41. And at this point, we're really, really close. It's hard to distinguish that piece of the function from a straight line. So now we can easily zoom back out to 0 and 1. Or if we want to see what this function looks like on an even larger interval, we can go to, let's say, minus 5 and 5. You see something strange has happened here. This function now has kinks in it. Well, what's the problem with that? Well, if you think about what the function looks like, not on this plot, but what it really should look like, there's the sine of 6x. And that means it has a fairly high frequency or a short period. And what we're doing here when we plot is, because we're using such a large interval going from minus 5 to 5, when you divide that into 10 pieces, each step is 0.5. And what that means is that we're not plotting very many points across the entire period of the function. And so that's why we get this choppy looking image. Whenever you see something like that, it means you're going to have to put more points in this column here. We're going to have to go further down and change the dx so that it's a smaller value. This has to be small compared to how quickly the function goes up and down. But we won't worry about that for now. Let's just go back to this interval and finish our screencast on zooming in and out on a function.